What's up mamas? Today I'm going to be talking to you about how to have an evergreen business. Hey mamas, in today's video I'm going to tell you about how to have an evergreen business and not feel like you have to work every day of your life. All right, ladies, so here's the key to having an evergreen business. And first of all, what does that even mean? An evergreen business means that you are interested in taking care of the people and not having to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So there are seven Ps that I'm gonna go over today to explain to you exactly what evergreen means and then how you can earn passive income by being an evergreen business. The first P is purpose. You want to have a purpose. Anyone that creates any kind of business out there has a purpose in mind, right? What's your mission statement? Who are you trying to help and what are you trying to do? So that's the first place that you have to meet yourself and say, okay, I want to have a business and I want to help X. Pick an audience. Now with this being said, you want to make sure that your audience is very specific. I don't want to just reach women. I want to reach moms. I want to reach moms between their 30s and 50s. Really niche down in that aspect so you have your audience of who you want to speak to. Because if you speak to everybody, you speak to nobody. You have to decide who your audience is and who you want to serve. Now that doesn't mean that somebody can't come in and still get value from you, but you're going to be targeting a specific group of people so those are the ones that you want to be helping. The second P is perseverance. Now this one's really important because anybody that's interested in starting a business, whether it be online or not, you need to know that there will be so many obstacles in your way. There's going to be people telling you that you can't do it. There's going to be nights where something went wrong and you're over there crying. There's going to be so many times that you're just going to say, I'm just going to give up and be done with it. What am I doing? I'm wasting my time. This isn't working. This isn't working. This fell apart. I can't do it. You need to be able to get over that and have the mindset that you will be overcoming obstacles every day. You just have to keep going because people who don't quit don't fail. So keep that in mind. The third P is people. You are serving people, so they need to come first. What does your audience want and how are you going to be serving them? You need to be providing something that people actually want and that is going to help them. That is the whole purpose overall, right? Fourth P is private. Now when you're having an evergreen business, you really wanna reach that certain group of people, right? For an evergreen business, I'm really all about the people and I'm keeping it small and I'm in the communities and I'm helping them solve an issue that's going on in their life. So I'm gonna keep it private. The fifth P is profit. So yes, having a business, there has to be some kind of profit so you are able to survive and you are able to serve. So even though I'm all about the people and helping them, there has to be some profit involved so I'm able to keep doing those things and keep providing for people. So what you wanna have in your business is a direct mission and you wanna be able to help people and serve people, but you do also have to make a profit somewhere down the line so you can keep serving those people and keep helping them solve their problems. The sixth P is paced growth. Now this is super important because some people will jump in and have an online business and they just expect to make millions overnight and it doesn't happen that way. A paced growth is when you know that you're gonna be working really hard in 24 hours a day at the start initially and then over time you're going to see all of the fruits of your labor and then it's gonna be absolutely seamless. But in the beginning, everybody has to start somewhere, right? So you have to have that pace growth. You're more about the long term and not about the short term. The seventh P is pragmatic innovation. This means that you are constantly and continuously coming up with content, creating things for your people, and helping them and serving them in any way that you can. There's constant ideas coming up and ways that you can change the way you said something before to really hit for somebody else later. This means that you will have constant improvement in your business to serve others. Okay ladies, so now that I've told you about the seven Ps, you must be wondering now, how do I make an evergreen business and what exactly does that mean? An evergreen business means that you are earning passive income eventually. So passive income is when you can make something one time but earn on it forever. So that is super important. That's the secret sauce right there, right? If I create a digital download in my Etsy shop, 
one time, I get to keep it in my Etsy shop forever. And people can come there and buy it anytime they want and they just download it and I make money. But I'm serving them as well. I've made something that is helping them in their life. They've come, they buy, I earn, I keep going. And I make other products for them. But the passive income is I can be sitting on a beach somewhere and someone could be on Etsy shopping for my items and I'm sitting back and relaxing. I've already made it once and I don't have to make it over and over and over again. That is passive income. Another way to earn passive income is through affiliates. So if you have any company that you are already subscribed to or that you use, you can check in to see if they have an affiliate link for you. For an example, I use canva.com. If you have canva.com, you can also get a referral link. So if someone else signs up for canva.com using your link, you can earn money just from them signing up through your link. That, my friends, is an affiliate link. And many, many people earn money by using affiliate links. So you've got to get on board. Find out what you're already using, refer it to your friends, and then when they sign up through your link, you could earn money. Another affiliate link that I want to tell you about today is Amazon Associates. If you are not familiar with Amazon.com, I don't know, you must be living under a rock somewhere because I use Amazon all the time. And I'm sure many people that are watching this video also use Amazon. But did you know you could become an Amazon affiliate? That's right. Anytime that you buy an item and then you share it with your friend and say, hey, this is where I got these pair of socks on, on Amazon, you could actually be making money by telling your friend about the thing that you bought. What? It's so crazy. So what you do is you sign up to Amazon Associates and then when you wanna share an item with a friend of something that you really like, you give them a special code or special link and then when they purchase that item through your link, you can earn a commission. It depends on what the item is, so I can't give you the specific numbers because it really depends on what product you're referring them. Every product has a different category. They will give you that information and you can easily look it up. So if it's technology, you'll earn a certain percent. If it's a book, you'll earn a different percent. So Amazon Associates, number one. I would definitely refer you to go there and definitely join. If you're interested at all in creating some digital downloads and opening up your own Etsy shop or using Teacher Pay Teacher, if you want to create curriculum and worksheets for other teachers to use, you can upload your digital downloads there and also make money on that platform. Now I'm sure there's plenty of other websites you could also do that with, but I can link all of the things that I talked about today down in the description box below. I'll also put my affiliate links and you know ahead of time that if you click on my link, you're really helping me out because I'm going to get some kind of commission for it. Now granted, the commissions aren't huge, but they do help me out and they support me. I appreciate all the support that you guys give me. I really hope that I've explained the Evergreen business enough for you that you understand and also some ways on how to earn some passive income. But if you have any questions, definitely comment down below. And if you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit that red button to subscribe. And if you hit the bell, it will alert you anytime I make a new video. I love helping you guys out. So if there's anything I can do to help you, my email is in the link as well. And you can forward me any questions there if you want. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Uh. <laughs> That's going to be fun to edit later.